Hey, hey guys. guys! So my kids have just started to get into sleepovers and they've been having so much fun. I saw a pretty big <laughs> fort last night. Do you guys sleep in the fort? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I always dreamed of being the cool mom when it came to sleepovers, in particular for breakfast. Ashley is the cool mom in all situations and she's here to share one of her specialties today. What are you making? Today we're making waffles on a stick. Sounds so good. The recipe is super easy and the kids will go crazy over them. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. All right, so what do we need for the recipe? So we need some white whole wheat flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. So for your wet ingredients, you'll need buttermilk, an egg, coconut oil, and vanilla. Then you'll need a waffle iron and some popsicle sticks or coffee stirs. All right, so I'm so excited for this recipe. What are we doing first? So I like to make the dry ingredients ahead of time. Um, I make them in bulk and keep it in an airtight container. Such a good idea. Um, that way when you're in a rush in the morning and- Every morning on the weekend. Your kids are dying for <laughs> waffles. All you have to do is pull out your dry mix, throw the wet ingredients together and throw them in the waffle iron and you're ready to go. Love, love, love that idea. Okay, so what do we have here? So first we're gonna start out with our whole wheat flour. Okay. Yeah. Um, then we're gonna add some sugar. So now go ahead and add some baking powder. Ooh, it's a lot of it. Now remember you're making this in bulk so it's gonna be for a lot of recipes. Spread right across, got it. And I will go ahead and add the salt and have you add the baking soda. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a quick mix. My here favorite with the part, list. you're doing my favorite part. <laughs> do your boys beg to mix? They it's do. Like the only they thing do. my kids like to that's do. That's their favorite thing to do. And when that's done, we're just gonna put everything into an airtight container. Okay, Meg, I'm gonna have you put a cup of our dry mix into the bowl. Okay. And to that, I'm gonna add a cup of buttermilk. And if you don't have buttermilk, you can add a cup of milk with a tablespoon of vinegar. So Meg, why don't you go ahead and add our egg. You can do that. And I will add about a tablespoon of the coconut oil. You don't sound sure about the quantity. Um, you know, I made this so many times, usually I just wing it and just <laughs> take a heaping spoon and dump it right in. Um, for our final ingredient, we're gonna go ahead and add a dash of vanilla. And L, what, whoops, <laughs> Meg. <laughs> Do that. Um, just a dash of vanilla. My favorite flavor. And I'll go ahead and start stirring it up. All right, so we have our very pink waffle maker. So I'll open it up. Show me what to do. So we're gonna take our mix, and what I like to do is fill each heart halfway. It smells good already. And once you have about half full, you're gonna go ahead and place your sticks. Okay, just like this? Yep. Oh, they stay. Yeah, the reason nice. you do that is because then they'll stay. Got it. And then you're gonna go ahead and top off the batter right on top of those sticks. By the way, these hearts are so cute. <laughs> they are adorable. We should've done this one for Valentine's Day. I know, right? And then close your waffle iron and you're ready to go. So the light turned green. Let's go ahead, Meg, and They're open ready. these up. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. You just pull them off and there you go. Oh, How adorable are these? You can dust them with powdered sugar, dip them into maple syrup. My favorite way. Do a little buffet where you can have chocolate chips and sprinkles. <laughs> Did you put the whole thing in your mouth at once? The other thing I think would be really cute is they make them in really cool shapes, the waffle irons, like Mickey Mouse. All right, guys, well, I can't wait to give these a try. Thank you so much for coming and show me how to be a cool mom at sleepover. Thank you for having me, and next time I will have to show you how to impress the kids at a camp out. <laughs> yes, I love it. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Kind of weird they call it a sleepover because you barely ever sleep. <laughs>